Okay guys, welcome to this slightly different video, where in this video, I am going to be giving you the 10 predictive topics that I think are likely to come up on this year's GCC exam for the non-calculator paper for paper 1, AQA and Edexhal, okay? So, this is going to be appropriate, okay? I did it for the higher tier, but bits of it may also be appropriate for the foundation tier as well, okay? But this is predominantly, okay, for the crossover topics, okay, for both tiers, okay? So let's get on with it, guys, okay? So these are my 10 predicted topics for the non-calculator paper. So number one, looking at some fraction operations. So working with fractions. So adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions, okay, involving mixed numbers as well, okay, and whole numbers, okay? And improper fractions, okay, etc. etc. Okay, how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide decimals, okay, especially at the start of a edit slash your higher tier paper here. So, like knowing here, so like knowing your rules here for like dividing by decimals, multiplying by decimals, okay, how to add decimals, okay, how to subtract decimals, okay. So, adding and subtracting here, probably more on the foundation tier, but this is still relevant, okay. Question three here is a big one percentages. So how to convert between fraction, decimal, and percentages, percentage of an amount, a percentage increase, okay. Um, so, yeah, so percentage here is a big part of it. Okay, percentage will also be involved in ratio questions, in probability, okay. That is another big topic, okay. Working with standard formats here. So working with standard formats here, so how to write numbers here in standard form. Okay, remember that it's a number between 1 and 10 times 10 to the power of something, okay, exact trig values i've just released a video recently on tiktok okay on exact trig values okay and this video here hopefully coming up here on the youtube channel here as well okay the rules and the laws of surds so how to multiply divide add and subtract surds how to rationalize surds for the higher tier only how to expand brackets with surds okay um how to manipulate surds here Okay, so simplifying surge, so looking for the biggest square number factor that goes into that number. Okay, rationalizing the denominator to get rid of any surge or surge on the bottom part of my fraction okay, by multiplying by its conjugate. Okay, the rules and laws of indices. So what do I do when I multiply with the same base? I add the powers. Okay, when I divide with the same base, I subtract the powers. When it's a power to a power, so a bracket to a power, and I multiply the powers, okay? Knowing your negative indices, the negative indices means one over, okay? Or if it's a fraction, you flip it, okay? Knowing your fractional powers, okay? So if it's a fractional power, if it's power of a half, it's the square root. If it's power of a third, it's the cube root. If it's power of a quarter, it's the fourth root. If it's power of a fifth, it's the fifth root. If it's power of a sixth, it's the sixth root, okay? So on and so forth, okay? So you so you take the root of the denominator of my fraction, and then you raise that to the power of the numerator. Okay, so if it's power of two thirds, you do the cube root of that number and then square it. Okay, area and primitive of two D shapes. So I think I think that, that's quite a big topic here. So knowing your area of squares, rectangles, trapeziums, circles, parallelograms. Actually, yeah. Um, what else? Heights. Um, rhombus, okay. Yeah, so knowing your area and primitive of those two shapes this year, okay. Particularly if you're looking at the area of a sector, a circle, okay, and the arc length, although those two topics are likely to appear on a calculator paper, okay, but it's good to know as well, okay, for that, okay. Um, the angle rules this year, so angle rules, okay, we're looking at angles in parallel lines, angles in 2D shapes, straight lines, what, what do they add up to? The angles around a point, okay, so straight lines add up to 180, angles are around a point add up to 360, okay, knowing your sum of interior angles, okay, knowing your exterior angle formula, okay, and lastly, and most importantly, uh, I think product of prime factors, okay, so writing numbers as products of its prime factors, okay, by using the prime factor tree, again, I've got a lot of videos here looking look at this topic, okay, Okay, how to work out the lowest common multiple and the highest common factor, okay, using the Venn diagram method, okay, or any other method, okay, but these are my predictions 
okay, for this upcoming year, okay, it might not be obviously exact. Okay, I think the all length in the sector area is likely to appear on the calculator paper. But when I say yeah, um, area and perimeter of 2D shapes, I mean area and perimeter of squares, triangles, rectangles, circles, okay, even like volumes of like basic shapes, yeah, so volumes of like a cube, a cuboid, okay. And also, I'd say, yeah, I think ratio would be incorporated, yeah, like within some of these topics here. So, so I think, yeah, revised ratio as well, okay? But they are my top 10 topics that is likely to appear on this year's exam, okay? If you found it useful, okay, please, please obviously share it yeah, with your friends, with your teachers, yeah, with your parents, okay, with your neighbours, okay, anyone that might find it beneficial, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you inside the next video, okay? Bye for now. Take care. All the best.